This program contains scenes of nonsensical garbage and coarse language and is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hello, my little popsicles. I am... I'm excited about this video, but also a little terrified because you see babies we're bringing makeup products back from the dead <laughs> i love being dramatic anyway my sweet baby cal gave me this beautiful idea of looking at my makeup collection and talking about the products that are expired that are old that should be dead and buried but they're not instead they still live on in my collection cal described it like a weekend at bernie's situation and if you know what weekend at bernie's is then obviously you are good people. If you don't, stop what you're doing and go watch that movie. It's not really that good. I mean, it's not really that good, but it's like a cult classic. You know what I mean? Go watch both of them. Anyway. <laughs> so in today's video, we're gonna answer the age old question. Are any of these makeup products good? Um, or should they have been thrown out many, 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 many years ago? So that said, let me show you what I picked in my collection. I have a couple of ideas. <laughs> Do they even make this anymore? <laughs> this could be a contender for an oldie. So maybe we'll put that on the side. This, let's see now. These are pretty, pretty new for the most part. Um, <laughs> they don't even make this anymore. This could be good, but this also is like, even though it is technically expired, this still looks good. So I kind of feel like it's cheating if I use this. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm cheating. Oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> oh, I had you for a long time. Okay. This is not even my color, by the way. <laughs> I remember loving the formula, though. And I think I held on to it because it's so expensive. Now, I did get it while it was on sale. But technically, I'm going to put in the video where I featured this. And if I'm correct... This is, f <laughs> it's gross that I still have this, but whatever, whatever. Who cares, right? I think we're gonna go in with this one. All right, so let's look at some powders. Now powders, listen, okay, you could have these for 57 years, okay? <laughs> as long as you take good care of it, you could do whatever you want with it, okay? So let's see, what's an oldie but a goodie? This one immediately I think of because, you know, I might as well make it a Sicily day because uh, Mel Thompson, Mama Mel, rest in peace, my sweet angel, she actually is the one that, that uh, sent this to me. So, and that video I think was done in 2021, if I'm not mistaken. So I feel like I kind of have to use this one. Yeah, let's use this one. So let's look at concealers. Um, these are all pretty, pretty recent for the most part. So we're gonna say no to you. Uh, mm, I think, these are kind of all fairly new. Ooh, I gotta talk about this one, sorry. <laughs> I'm also filming this while I have to like put together my favorites and fails. So let's put that on the side there. This is all kind of like high-end, mid-range sort of concealers. Next bucket here, of course, is all of my drugstore options, which I mean, no, because that's a fresh one. Yeah, these are still kind of freshies. Oh, oh yes. Okay, first of all, wow. Yeah, she's she's seen some sh collab is amazing, okay? And I remember going and buying quite a few of these because I think they stopped selling them in Sally's or I don't know if they just stopped making this product altogether or what the deal was, but I could only pick this up at Sally's. I don't think that's the case anymore. So I kind of held on <laughs> I held on to these. I really did. Um so we're going to you know, we're going to we're gonna try that one because I know a lovely subscriber did send me one, but I think this is the one. Oh, oh, ew! It was kind of partially open. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm terrified. Hold on a second. I mean, she's not bad. I feel like I. I feel like I've seen worse. I feel like I've seen worse. Okay, don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> So down here we have, you know, some face palettes and stuff like that, but I, I want something a little bit older. So I'm looking at bronzers. I could potentially do a cream bronzer, but I feel like my powder, I'll definitely have some older here. 
Actually, hold on. Let's make this, let's make my life easier. What do we got? Oh yeah, don't mind my cute little slippers. Okay. <laughs> I'm an old woman, okay? Let's see. So technically, technically these are pretty fucking old because I don't even think they make the big ones anymore. And uh, I mean, we could go with the bougie full face. We could, we totally could. So let's put these on the side as potential options. This is Tom Ford. But let's see, what else do I have? She's pretty fucking old. <laughs> I love this fucking bronzer so much. I really do. So maybe, let's put this one on the side. Oh, fuck, I forgot about you. Oh. Okay. <coughs> I can taste a layer of dust on this one. Um, ooh, we're going to put this on the side. Oh motherfucking Wayne Goss. Okay. Okay. What does this one look like? Hold on. Oh, this one was really good. Fuck. Maybe I should use this one. They do not make this one anymore. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one do we pick? Let's see. Okay. So this is what the Too Faced one looks like. She looking rough. There's also some dinosaur bumps in there. Um, <laughs> we could fuck around with this one. This one still looks so pristine. She's beautiful. We love her. But I feel like the two fate. Oh God! I feel like the Tom Ford ones. It's not fair because I know they're good. So yeah, I think I think we're gonna say no to Tom Ford. But this though, this I know you can't get anymore. This one was really good. I do love this one. But then you have this, which I mean, this is so stupid, but it's so good. I think I actually have two of these. This is what she should look like. <laughs> I will never use this one. <laughs> This is just for me to open up and admire its beauty, okay? But then we have Mr. Goss, which I mean, this is a great, great, great bronzer. But I feel like the Sungasm is calling my name. Or the Too Faced. Fuck, I don't know. We're going to take all three of these right now. So I have like 85 drawers of blush, okay? <laughs> I have so much blush, it's not even funny. It really isn't funny. So... Okay, so the one that immediately jumps out at me, obviously, is Cover FX. And, I mean, Pink Dahlia was a fucking moment, all right? Maybe it's Cover FX. Maybe I don't even need to search anymore. <laughs> Maybe it's that one. But hold on, let me see what else I have. Oh, the Soft Peach. Oh, Soft Peach was good, too. Oh, the Mojave Mauve. Okay, wait a second. So this is Pink Dahlia. Beautiful. Love her. But then we have, like, Soft Peach. Another motherfucking icon. Oh! Ooh, okay, all right. So far, I'm thinking I'm kind of leaning towards these two. But oh, let me show you the other one. Javi Mauve. But Mauve just sounds nicer. So whatever. Anyway, so then you have this one. Which, ironically, they kind of all look the same in this light, which is funny. But <laughs> I think I'm leaning towards those two. My pride and joy, my highlighters. I could go in with Burberry. Because, I mean, that's probably one of my oldest ones. Love it to pieces. But it's still, I know, amazing. We're not going to use that one because I still, I still use it. Um, but these, though, these I feel like are more, they're more new, these guys. Although that one is a fucking oldie, though. Hmm. No, I, f ooh. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, bitch. I forgot about you. Oh, my God. I mean, they still look really good. <laughs> these still look really fucking good. I don't know. I kind of love these. Mm, all right, all right, all right. Mm, we're gonna... Mm, fuck. Actually, hold on a second. I think I have to go with Marc Jacobs. This was one of the best highlighters ever. So I'm kind of curious to see if the formula is the same. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good blinding fucking highlighter. I kind of want to try this one. I kind of want to try both of these, actually. I think I might try both of these. Another potential contender, listen, Wacky Jackie, say what you will, the bitch put out a really nice highlighter. <laughs> so this palette was from 2019. It was the holiday palette. I regret nothing. It was beautiful. It was everything. And I still use the shit out of this palette. So it kind of almost feels like it would be cheating if I use this one. But this was a contender in my brain. I think the Marc Jacobs one, that and this fucking ColourPop one. Those are the two, I think, right there. So when I was thinking about eyeshadows and stuff like that, which by the way, I didn't get to show you this during my beauty room video, but I kind of have this pretty much almost done. I don't have a lot of room in here, so I kind of had to use the closet, and I, this is just so cute. So this area up here with the beautiful Jaws photo, that's kind of more either like recent stuff or kind of just like, or backups. 
And then down here, you kind of get more into like eyeshadow palettes, single eyeshadows, the whole gamut. And I still have all of this down here. So I'm eventually going to make this look a little bit nicer. But in the meantime, this is what she looks like. Oh, hello, McDonald's bag. So when thinking about this video, there were two palettes that came to mind that I was like, these are the ones that I'm gonna work with. And I don't really give a shit that they don't really go, okay? <laughs> First one is this. This is, if you have been with me from the beginning, which I mean, if you have been, God bless. But if you have, then you'll know that this is my first video ever on YouTube. And obviously the reason why I kept it is because, you know, it's sentimental reasons. So I kind of want to see how this is going to work out. Uh, I haven't opened it in a minute, so this should be interesting. But the other palette I thought of is the one palette that I hate <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> is the chart aspen ovard palette and the reason why i kept this is well there's two reasons one this was the first video that i ever got a thousand views on and it was fucking the most amazing feeling to have a thousand people watch a video and two my mom got it for me and i felt bad throwing this away <laughs> Or decluttering it um so yeah this this stayed with me for a lot of like sentimental reasons but i think we're gonna go use these two and see how it works out so a little footnote to this video i actually am going to be switching one of the products out so when i was looking at my primers i'm not gonna lie listen a lot of it is fucking ritual defeat okay <laughs> i do have a couple that are thrown in there but for the most part it's ritual defeat thorn oil all right and i use that motherfucker like nobody's business but there was one primer that i was going to use and it was from elf and this is the elf dunkin donuts like putty primer right i first of all i really don't care for this primer i don't think it's really all that great but the reason why i kept it is because i love the packaging and you all know me i am a packaging slut so i wanted this but I kind of felt like, in a way, it was a little bit like cheating, only because I never opened this product up. So technically, I feel like the product is gonna be fine. Then, after I got done, you know, kind of like grabbing all my stuff, I started looking through this one drawer and I found this little fucking guy, okay? This teeny tiny little guy. Since we are going bougie, bougie, bougie today, I figured might as well have the Sicily Double Tensor Serum, which I believe this retails for $185. <laughs> Not this little thing. <laughs> that would be fucking crazy, but no. <laughs> I think like the normal size bottle is $185. I remember loving this primer when I did use it. And it was one of those things where I just kind of used very, very sparingly. So this actually has a 12 month expiration date. I've had this for years. Um, <laughs> So <laughs> here's hoping it's still good. But I did have Alex pre-smell some of the cream products and he can confirm that at least the Sicily ones smelled good. Collab, Collab had a funk to it. So, okay. <laughs> we're, we're gonna press on. But in the meantime, I, I guess I might as well just start with this. Oh, 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 that, that is, oh, okay. That is very cummy. All right, all right, all right. I don't even know where I'm trying to smell something. It just kind of smells. It smells like a pool, but not really. <laughs> like it kind of smells like what I imagine the one episode of like, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Where the kid doesn't know how to swim. And like he's a nerd and the girl that teaches him is like supposed to be like, you know, the jock or whatever. I feel like that's what it smells like. So kind of acidy, <laughs> kind of like eggy. I could also be having a stroke. I <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, let's put this on. The one thing I'll say about this primer is that when I start to, I guess I didn't really notice this initially when using this a long time ago, but it kind of just dries down and not in like a pleasant way. I don't remember that. So it could be very much, um, this is just past its prime. <laughs> so, you know, maybe this one should have stayed dead and buried, but, um, Let's see. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Now, the next product I'm going to use is also from Sicily. This is the anti-aging foundation. So I have it in the shade 0R Vanilla. She is disgusting. She's seen some things. Um, I did use a fair amount of it because I think the product's like now down to here. So I mean, listen, that's pretty fucking good. All right. That's pretty good. Granted, I've had it for years. <laughs> so is it good? I don't know. I don't want to think about it. But I remember when I first had this, I want to say it had to be like 2020 or 2021 when every fucking makeup brand under the sun was having like deep discount sales. It was probably, it probably was 2020 because of that fucking COVID stimulus. Who are we kidding? Okay. And I remember, I think picking this up 
was it Bergdorf Goodman? I don't know. There was some, was it Saks? Some fucking company had really like deep discount sales. And that's how I tried this one out because I believe this is like another thing, another foundation that I wanna say is like 150 bucks or something, fucking something stupid like that. So I remember loving it. But then again, that was, you know, years ago, my makeup preferences and how I apply makeup, everything like that is a little bit different. So <laughs> let's see how this works. Um, but I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little scared. If I remember correctly, uh, the shade, the shade was in it. Uh, the, shade, the shade was way too dark. But let's see, let's see. So, oh, okay. Oh no. Oh, that's not, I mean, is that problematic? <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, I think it should be okay. I think I should be okay. I think I should be all right. This smells like straight up perfume. It actually still smells good. Unlike the Cummy Primer, that kind of just smelled like in an old episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? This smells perfumey, and not in a bad way, not in a bad way. So I'm just gonna kind of just take what I had on my finger, put that on, and then I'm gonna take this wonderful brush from BK Beauty. This is the uh, 101, one of the best foundation brushes in my humble opinion. Okay, listen, listen, that's not bad. That's not bad. Dare I say it's not bad? Like what the f I mean, no, okay. <laughs> I like just caught myself. I have a little monitor in the side. Yeah, yeah, okay. Who the fuck was I fooling? Mmm, okay, all right. <laughs> as long as it's not problematic, I think we should be okay. <laughs> what color is, it? how is this zero? Vanilla, okay. It's not vanilla, it's like Bavarian cream. Not even Bavarian cream. Bavarian cream is lighter than this. What color is this? It's like a fucking custard, but no lie though. It doesn't look bad. Like color aside, color aside. Mm -hmm. But beyond that though, she doesn't look too bad. And I'm not feeling the immediate like, ah, my skin. Like I don't have that burning feeling. So that's good. I like that. It's not like acid or anything. So I'm gonna take my sponge and really I kind of press it in on my nose and blend it out on my forehead only because this brush, I do like it. It's very big though. And like, I have a petite forehead. So I feel like this kind of gets straight up in my hairline. I'm not trying to fuck that up today, okay? We don't want to do that. So I'd rather just use a sponge. Listen, okay. This actually doesn't look bad. <laughs> this actually doesn't look bad. It looks actually pretty good. Color. Aside, the color is bad, but it actually looks still pretty fucking perfect on my nose. It doesn't look like drying or anything like horrible. I mean, <laughs> it's just like a huge difference. <laughs> it's a huge difference. But like, maybe if I just coat all of this with it, <laughs> it won't look so bad. I don't know, like, it's not bad. I am gonna add a little more because I could kind of build some of it up. I just wanna see if I can, uh, just like around here, around this portion of my face. Dare I say, this actually doesn't look that fucking bad. And I'm not gonna say I'm justifying like a really expensive foundation, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, I don't think I could fucking do this shit with like wet and wild. I don't think I could. Um, it doesn't look bad though. No, I mean, listen, I don't think it looks that bad. I think it looks okay. And my nose looks like pretty fucking good. This is wild. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Collab Concealer, which to kind of give you an idea of what the shade is supposed to look like, I'll just put it on my hand. Uh, this is the shade uh, Porcelain. So that's what she looks like. Not bad. Not bad at all. I love Collab. One of my favorite, favorite concealers of like all time. So let's hope it's still one of my favorites of all time. We go in with the BKN16. This is such a good concealer brush. I'm a fan of this concealer too, because it doesn't settle into fine lines. It has really nice coverage and it's very hydrating. So I just wanna add just a little bit, all right. Right there. And you know, I thought there was gonna be something kind of fucked up and weird about it, but no, she looks pretty fucking good actually. Just gonna go over it with the sponge. It doesn't look bad, it looks great. You couldn't tell that this is like, you know, a fucking five year, <laughs> probably a five year old concealer, right? I mean, yeah, it smells kind of a lot, but 
maybe this is what I need for people to like leave me alone. After this, I'm gonna ask Alex what my face smells like. See if it's like really atrocious. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to see a little bit of dryness under the eye, just on this side. So I'm just gonna kind of just do the same thing that I did on that side. Try to match the energy. But I do see some dried bits though. What I'm gonna try to do now is <laughs> take a bunch of concealer. <laughs> I wanna see if I can kind of blend I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work at all. I'm In my head, I'm picturing that it works, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it doesn't. Let's see if we can try to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more normal down here, down in these parts of the world. Okay. Like, I think it looks a little bit better. Actually, I, I think, I think I fixed it. It looks a little bit better on the monitor anyway. Time will tell <laughs> when we're editing this, um, but so far it kind of, it looks not that bad in person. Okay. So dare I say, I have never looked better. <laughs> um, this actually is really, really, really pretty fun. So I think what I wanna do now is just add some powder. I technically feel like I don't need to add powder, but we're still gonna add powder though. Also, by the way, Dutch Bros, if you live near Dutch Bros, get the salted caramel protein latte. It's the best fucking thing ever. It makes my heart happy. Okay, keeping up with the Sicily trend, this powder has seen some better days. Ooh, okay. Like I mentioned before, this powder was gifted to me by the wonderful Mel Thompson when we did our box video many, many yonders ago. Powder products, I feel like are a little bit more forgiving than cream products because I've definitely, you know, had some powders for a long time and I feel like that's just more like, okay, that's more the norm than cream. So I feel like this is gonna be like, okay. I haven't used the Sicily powder in a minute because I've just been honestly really just fucking obsessed with the CoverGirl powder. But when I have used this powder, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So let's hope that it's sold the fucking case. I'm gonna take my little bedazzled powder puff and we're gonna just set my under eye area, which I mean, in hindsight, uh, I don't know if this is the smartest thing to do considering how this side kind of looks a little bit crunchy, so that that kind of sucks. It doesn't look terrible, but I feel like my under eyes, um, they look agey. They look like an old man. <laughs> so ooh, I'm gonna just go in with the powder puff. And just to make sure to show you that I am doing it, I just realized I have it down here. People could be like, you're lying, you're using cover girl. No, I'm using this. I am gonna use a brush for the rest of my face, but sometimes it's just easier just to kind of get into these areas over here. Yeah, this powder's good. I like it. It's not too much. I'm gonna go in with the BKN15. As you can see. Boop. This is a really good powder brush too. I swear that Nikki line from BK is really, really good. If it's still available, definitely go check it out. I haven't seen one brush that I'm like, nah, I don't think it's that good. Like everything has been amazing. Dare I say, I've never looked better. I don't know. I don't know about you. This looks fucking good though. All right, so let's go in with some bronzer. Now, I listen, I had a hard time trying to fucking pick, okay? I have three different options. We have Catrice. We have the Elusive, one of the best bronzers that I've just fucking loved forever. The Too Faced, the... <laughs> The uh, hot cocoa one that came out, I don't even know how long ago, but we have this one. That just actually made me cough opening that one up. Ooh, okay. And then we have Wayne Goss, baby Wayne Goss, which this is something that doesn't exist anymore. Um, so this one's an oldie, but a goodie too. I, hmm, I think I should go with the Sungasm because I feel like it's the oldest one technically. And it's good for two years. This one's only good for, it doesn't even fucking say. So that's cool. Love that. And Wayne Goss was good for 24 months. So, I mean, they're definitely all expired. <laughs> they're all expired at this point, but oh, I kind of want to, all right, we're going to do half and half. We're going to do half and half. Cause like, I can't, I can't not. Okay. Fuck it. We're going to use all three. Okay. So we're going to start with this one. I really want to see how this one is. I'm going to use this clean bling brushes, uh, brush. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I am doing this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> really? Just that much came out. Okay. <laughs> mm, okay. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck me all right she does show up oh you know what it is i'm getting like loose particles and they shoot right up my nose and i'm like i don't like it it smells like old baby powder mixed with cinnamon i'm kind of surprised that 
I don't know, I felt like this was more pig, was it that pigment? Maybe it wasn't that pigmented. In my mind, I was like fucking in love with this product, but now I'm kind of like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> Granted, it's expired as fuck, but I don't know. I thought I would be like, like, ah, uh, yes, like, bleh, you know, like sucking it off, but like, not really. Mm, I don't know. Like, it's not bad, but like, I just, I remember having a much more stronger reaction. It looks a little yellow, right? I feel like the tones are going <laughs> to, they're going to be so off in this video. Tried to wipe off as much as I can because we're going to go, <laughs> we're going to go in on this side. Oh yeah. Like this is, this is fucking... She's pigmented. Okay. I think I like this so much more. I think I like it so much more. I mean, is this bronzer a little bit too dark for me? No, I think it looks okay. I mean, maybe a scotch, but I don't know. I think I kind of like leaning more towards this part of my face. Okay. I could obviously think this very differently <laughs> when I'm editing, but like right now in real time, like she doesn't look that bad. <laughs> she actually looks pretty good. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. We're going to use this from Singe Beauty. This one's really good if you want to go into those small cracks and crevices. This is F06 for those that are interested. I'm going to take a combination of these two. Oh my God, the fallout on that one. We're just going to you know, just try to see on the forehead. What does it look like? I mean, okay. Granted, I think I mean, I'm a, I feel like I'm a little too bronzer heavy, but... I like the tone of it. I think the tone is still really good. I mean, I've always enjoyed this product from Wayne Goss, so happy that it's still pretty fucking good. I'm kind of disappointed in this one. It feels very, I don't know, kind of like, like I put some dirt on my face, right? <laughs> I think this side looks so much like neater. So I'm just gonna add a little, gonna, gonna carve out that double gin there. But I think, I think I like that one more. I'm gonna try to see if I can kind of build up maybe a little bit more this product. Yeah, I don't love it. I don't love it. I, I'm actually kind of surprised by this. I really am. Fucking Catrice though. There's the reason why I never gave you away, baby. This one's good. I like this one. This is Golden Ecstasy. If you still have it, fucking hold on to it. I think it still looks pretty good. So the next product I want to use is blush. And I keep going back and forth because I think, you know, they're both so beautiful. You have the Soft Peach from Cover FX, or we have the Pink Dahlia. I wanna kinda go in with the Pink Dahlia. I knew exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my rougher number four. What I always loved about this is that this is a monochromatic blush, but we have like a shimmery side and then we have a matte side. Honestly, I like using both products. I think they're both beautiful. And she still holds up, which is motherfucking amazing. So we love that. I will say though, I feel like this blush used to be like super duper pigmented. And I feel like I had to kind of like go in uh, because it wasn't really coating the brush um, as well as it used to. So that's kind of like, okay, it's maybe, maybe she's getting a little tired. Okay. <laughs> maybe she's tired of commuting and she's uh, looking into uh, seeing if she can retire at this age. So that's kind of the vibe I'm feeling. <laughs> with the cover FX. She is right now calling HR to see if she can retire or if she has to work to uh, the day that she dies because she doesn't have enough saved up in her pension. Too real? Sorry. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of financial audit. <laughs> been watching a lot of that shit lately. Um, this looks good though. Cover FX. Yo, cover FX still, still king. I mean, she's a little tired, but... Not that bad. She's not that bad. Y'all know me, you know I love a, a strong blush moment. She looks pretty fucking good though. She does. Okay, so here are my thoughts. I have two highlighters, right? I have this, this fucking relic. I believe this was from the Good Sport collection. One of my favorite collections uh, from ColourPop. This is a super shock palette and it's, you know, I mean, listen, is it as vibrant as it once was? Oh my God, my hand. <laughs> gonna fucking, I'm gonna put the highlighter on top of it because that's what my skin should look like. I mean, she's definitely on the lighter side for sure. She used to pack a little bit more of a punch, okay? I am very tan, by the way. You know what I am gonna do though? Because I just kind of caught myself <laughs> in the monitor. I'm going to kind of go in a little bit with uh, some powder to try to see if I can like, especially like soften this up. 
up here because I, I feel like I look a little bit too like I work on the casino floor. You know what I mean? Like, hello, honey, how you doing? I look like a fucking leather handbag. <laughs> you catch me outside smoking my Misty 120s. Do they even sell Misty 120s anymore? If you do smoke them or if you know someone that smokes them, please let me know. They always look like a fun cigarette. I used to smoke cigarettes a long, 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 long time ago. I remember, okay, so I, I used to smoke like Newport, Newport Lights, right? I feel like that's a New York City staple, but whatever. But I remember smoking like Newport 120s. I think they came out literally for like two weeks. I remember smoking them and they were kind of stupid, but I love the idea of like a very long, thin cigarette. It felt like the 1960s, you know? <laughs> it felt like I should be in the kitchen. What am I doing? Not barefoot pregnant you know, cooking onions or whatever. I think that looks a little bit better. I think we kind of less bronzed me up. I think we look fine now. All right, all right. So. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so we have the ColourPop palette, but then we have this from Marc Jacobs, and this is Worth the Weight highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters. Ugh of all time. It's just, it's delicious. And oh, she looks, she looks not so great. She looks kind of powdery. Oh wow, actually she just disappeared. What the fuck? I'm a little scared now. I don't have a lot of expectation. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this Sigma brush and I'm gonna go on this side, we're gonna do Marc Jacobs. On the other side, we're gonna do ColourPop, but let's see. It's very, very powdery. Okay, 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 all right. She's, I mean, listen, I like this, but I feel like uh, she was definitely a lot stronger years ago. And I kind of feel like it looks more like a white fucking line, right? I'm gonna take that blush brush. Not taking any more product, but just trying to see if I can kind of blend the two together. You know, I'm, I'm actually kind of really fucking surprised. I don't know, I don't love it. Like it doesn't look terrible, but I remember loving this a hell of a lot more. This is very pre cummy you know what I mean? I don't like it. It's like you finish, but I didn't. I don't, what the fuck? Like, it's not terrible. Like I've definitely had worse highlighters, but I remember it being like a beacon of light. This is not a beacon of light. And I'm really fucking surprised actually. Like it, again, doesn't look terrible, but it's not as beaming as I want it to be. So watch the fucking ColourPop one be amazing. Watch that one be awesome. I'm gonna use this brush from BK. This is the N, this is the N14. And we're gonna do talk and code. I don't know if this is the right brush for this product. So I have this brush from Lethal Cosmetics. This is a highlight fan brush, the number 125. So I'm just going to basically just, I'm gonna just fucking take these two. Okay, yeah, I think I needed a fan brush. This is definitely, definitely stronger for sure, but kind of has that, you know, issue of it kind of just looking like a, a blob, <laughs> like a blob of white. So I'm just gonna go in with that blush brush. See if we can just start to like blend it out a little bit more. Yeah, this one definitely looks a lot better. It looks a lot better, but it's still, I remember loving the fuck out of it more. So I'm gonna use my finger. 2000 years later. Yeah, I think this one looks better. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought the things that were gonna be like the most outstanding would be the highlighter still. But what's actually outstanding is the fucking foundation, which literally makes no fucking sense. I should be in a hazmat suit right now. <laughs> I should be in a hazmat suit. And the concealer actually doesn't even look that bad either. Again, this side looks a little bit more crunchy, but like, it doesn't look that bad though. I don't know, like this is blowing my mind a little bit. So now we're gonna work on eyeshadow. And I, listen, I couldn't pass up on using both of these palettes, Tarte Aspen Ovar. I remember using this palette, hating the shit out of it. Oh yeah. Oh, look, look how fucking basic bitch this bitch is. Oh my God. I remember hating this. I remember this is the first video I got a thousand views on and people hated me, hated me. Oh my God, people were like, not like super, super mean. There was a couple of people that were like, you're fat, you should have killed me up. So there was some of that. <laughs> There always is some of that, okay? Cause you know, they can't just let fat people exist. But a lot of people just was like, you don't understand makeup. And I mean, listen, in hindsight, they were right. And I mean, I feel like they're, they still are right. Like I am not a trained makeup artist by any means or anything like that. I'm just an everyday bitch, just like you. 
I just have the balls to put myself on the internet and make a fucking fool of myself. That's the big difference here, okay? <laughs> But I want to use the Tarte one, but I also, I feel like I need to use this. This palette, which by the way, I'm trying to line myself up. This looks kind of creepy. This palette I featured in my first video on YouTube. I believe I started, I think March 31st. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. I'm almost coming up to my anniversary, actually, of when I first uploaded, of I believe 2018. Oh, my God. I haven't opened this in such a long fucking time. Wow. Okay. Shit. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Damn. You know, I feel like the shades actually, I mean, they're not terrible. They're still, they're still pigmented-ish. I think what I want to do is a combination of both. So I'm probably going to focus on probably the, uh, the blues and the greens and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to use the tart one as a Base. I'm gonna try to use like say this color here to see to see if I can get anything out of this shit. And to keep things old school, I'm gonna use my uh, NARS soft matte concealer. Now that my eyes are nicely primed, I'm gonna go in to that shade Tea Time. Wow. Kind of, I went in there with so much gusto uh, because I was like, oh, this is not gonna fucking show up. But um, yeah. Bitch is pigmented. I think it's been so long, I don't really remember why I hated this palette so much. I think at the time I felt like it wasn't pigmented or maybe it didn't have really great longevity or maybe a combination of both or everything kind of like looked the same. I'll be honest, I don't really feel like opening up that Pandora's box and just looking at what I look like back then. <laughs> I just, I just don't, I have no interest in it. Um, I, I was new to makeup. <laughs> I was new to a lot of things. <laughs> Thank God I'm funny though. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, that, you know what? Maybe I was wrong about this palette. Maybe I was wrong. Cause I mean, so far it's, she's looking pretty, pretty good. I am going to take the shade High School Sweetheart and we're gonna use that to, uh, Kind of blend the edges out. Does Aspen Ovard make content still? I, I've never watched her or anything like that. I just remember picking up this palette in Ulta on Mother's Day with my mom. Um, and then I was like, ooh, I wanna make a video on it. <laughs> That's all I remember. But she's not bad though. I am going to go in to the shade Santorini Sands and I'm gonna kind of use that shade to kind of like blend out. I don't know, just make it a little bit lighter. Dare I say I'm looking for it to be lighter. All right, listen, I think it's kind of funny that I think if I were to pick up this palette now, I would be more into it because I am a basic ass bitch, right? And I kind of like love this now. <laughs> I hate this. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm gonna use the shade Road Trip. You know, sometimes you just need to just try things again and again, I feel like, because right now I am having a great time with this palette. And I'm like, do I even want to use a book and get my D1? Because I actually really like this. This is kind of, wow. Everything that I thought about myself, it like just fucking flew out the window. Maybe it's like the toxic chemical seeping into my blood, but like all of this is great. <laughs> And the things that I thought were going to be like a slam dunk, not so much, kind of fucking wild. I feel like my whole life's a lie, okay? <laughs> my whole life's a fucking lie right now. Fuck, dude, fuck. All right, so fuck. <laughs> I don't know, like, uh, I need to use this. I need to use this. So what I'm gonna do is, um, oh, should I do blue or should I do green? You know what, we're gonna do a little green. We're gonna use the shade Pink Flamingos. I'm gonna use a little green. I thought I was gonna lean towards blue, but I think we should use a little green. I am gonna use a little bit of NYX Glitter Glue, because I feel like that's the only thing that's actually going to fucking work. All right, I'm gonna actually gonna go in first for this shade, but then I'm going to use the shade Babs as well. Now, I mean, eh, not the best which is actually kind of surprising because old school Kat Von D formula is actually, I mean, no, it's not that bad. It's just very, very light. And I kind of have to build it up. It gets a little patchy in some spots, but 
You know what? No, I take back what I was gonna say. Cause I was gonna be like, eh, I don't know how I feel about this. But no, I actually think it's pretty good. For being 85 fucking years old, it's, it's not that bad. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more. Just put it right in the inner corner there. I'm gonna go back into the Tarte Aspen Ovard palette, that road trip shade. I'm just gonna put it more in the outer corner. Okay, listen, I'm not gonna say this is my best eye look, but I mean, she's good. <laughs> She's good. It kind of looks really, like why does all of this work so well? Holy shit. Um, I can't believe how much I fucking love this. I really do. Okay, so I want to use a little, I don't have like eyeliners. I actually decluttered a lot of them when I was moving. Same goes for lip products. So I can't really, eh, I can't really include anything like that. So I am going to add a little bit of uh, mascara, finish the lower lash line. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you the completed look. Oh, can you smell my face? <laughs> no, smell my face, smell it. Do I smell bad? Do I smell toxic? <laughs> no, it smells fine. It smells like you have product on your face. That's all it smells. But like it, it doesn't smell like, smell like bad product. No. And this is the only one that you said smells kind of. That was the only one that was like intense and sharp. A pungent. A pungent cheese. <laughs> Everything else. Everything else is fine. Smell this. Smells fine. Smell that. Smells fine. Smell that. It smells fine. <laughs> Everything smells fine. And do this one. Smell that. It smells fine. <laughs> <laughs> smell that one. It's probably the first one that doesn't smell good. But I think it's just because it smells like product. But not good product. Mmm, stinky. Stinky color pop. Okay, stinky color pop. <laughs> that one fine. This is too much inhaler. Okay, got it. Uh, I think that's it. Did you smell this? I did not. Smell the divine. Oh, and smell Wayne Goss. Sounds no, weird. Divine smells fine. How does Wayne smell? <laughs> Wayne, you stinky. I'm kidding. It's fine. Wayne, you smell good. All right. Thank you. All right, hi. Okay, so this is the completed look. I am, listen, bro. Like, I think this doesn't look bad. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. I'm actually kind of surprised. And uh, I think what's blowing my mind is my thoughts have changed a lot about, you know, this product in particular. This one, I wore this like a badge of honor how much I hated it and now i'm like yo bitch let me tell you i look pretty cute i i'm i'm beside myself like i actually think that i'm i feel like i'm getting flushed over here not because uh this is old product but i'm getting flushed because i'm just like oh my god like my whole life is a lie <laughs> This whole channel's a lie. Um, but, but no, like I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. Um, I, but, is it gonna be my favorites and fails? Oh, oh my God. Like <laughs> five year edition. Oh God, do you imagine? Or what? No, I think we're on year six. Okay been a long time. Let me know down below if you kind of want to see this video regularly, because I think, I think this could be a fun little thing that we do because as y'all know, I have a lot of makeup and things that I'm like holding on to thinking that they're good. They're not really that great. And I think the ones that I thought were going to be like, okay, now these are going to be amazing. Like whatever are these guys, the highlighters. And I feel like this was some of the worst that I tried today blows my mind. So I kind of want to do this series as also like an active declutter. I try to do a couple of declutters throughout the year. So I'm going to think about these products a little bit and kind of marinate on them, but then probably eventually kind of throw them to the declutter pile. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think this could be kind of a fun series to do. So thank you so much to Cal for giving me this beautiful idea and I'm just going to run with it. But yeah, I guess it goes to show that even if products are like, five years old, if they're expensive, odds are they're still gonna be pretty good. <laughs> That's my big takeaway from today, besides uh, just believing everything is a lie now because of Aspen Ovard. But beyond that though, the fact that the Sicily Foundation, well, yes, the color was a choice. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. And the formula is really, really nice. And it's making me kind of want to, oh, which is so stupid. But if I ever see this primer on sale, 
like deep, 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 deep discount. I don't even know if they make the primer anymore, but if they ever have it and it's on sale, I would consider picking it up because I actually really like how my makeup looks today. Today was a wild day, okay? Uh, there must be a full moon or something because like nothing makes sense. Anyway, um, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know actually down below, what are some of the oldest makeup products that you have? And when was the last time you used them? And are you gonna feel inspired by this? And either one, create your own video, which I would love for you to do. Or two, let me know down below if you tried it. Does it still hold up? I wanna say thank you so much to my beautiful patrons and my wonderful YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this wonderful, beautiful, disgusting, expired garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you and I love your little adorable faces. I'll see you pumpkins later. Bye.